Okay, it's Christmas Day 2011. I'm up here at the Owls Cave at Polywillan Farm for the third time. On the third Christmas Day. I've been here many, many times before, but it's the third Christmas Day. There's the path, Malcolm's path, the way around towards Duke's seat. And here's the Owls Cave down in here. It's pretty scary, I must say. But I'll clamber over a wee bit closer to the, to the abyss. See what it looks like in here. Ooh, spooky stuff down there. Absolutely spooky, and I'm not going any further because there's a. That's actually the floor of a chimney. There's a chimney leads down to another cave, and it wouldn't be all that difficult to fall down through it and get stuck and be lost forever. But I can see down there the uh, the, the empty can of Molson's Canadian that we took with us up here last year to drink, and we left it here. Uh, when Jennifer was with me in 2010. So I'll climb back out, I'll show you where I climbed up. On my way around here I was looking at uh, hundreds and hundreds of seagulls bobbing in the sea just offshore. I think that means they know there's a big storm coming. I think that's what that means. Anyway, this is me here on Christmas Day. Uh, I was wishing I had Jennifer would come with me again, but she wouldn't come this year. Uh, she went out of town with her mother instead. But that's okay, because I can film this. And I'm in great order today because uh, uh, St Mirren beat Rangers 2 1 yesterday at uh, St Mirren Park, which is absolutely wonderful. That's why I'm wearing a St Mirren hat today. And uh, I can see a seal bobbing in the sea down there. There's no point in turning this camera around and zooming in because. Uh, too far away anyway. So there's the view, it's a nice day. It's, uh, well, you can't see the seal. I can see it with a naked eye. Not much wildlife about, no snow like last year. Just a very, very nice mild Christmas day. It's probably 55 plus degrees in the Fahrenheit. Maybe a bit, uh, a bit more than that actually. So that's about it, that's me for Christmas Christmas Day, but it's not quite. I can't do the big reveal that Jennifer's here, or there's no one here with me, but wait to see this. I do have uh, my laptop with me, a pitching wedge, two golf balls, uh, oh there's a, a hip flask, a Springbank whiskey. So I really should have had the, the camera going all the time, I'm not quite sure how to start it. I'll start it now. Yeah, that seems to be recording now. Is it? It's got the wee red light on. I think it is. Anyway, so my idea last year, I juggled up here last year, and I thought I was probably the first ever person to juggle an Elves Cave on Christmas Day, or at all really. So today, I'm going to be the first person to hit a, hit a golf shot. <laughs> what do you think of that? A golf shot from the Elves Cave. Well, there's uh, my screensaver on the laptops, uh, Gary Teal and Stephen Thompson just had a on the 15th of October. So, that's quite strange that it's there. Uh, the day after the Rangers at St Mirren Park, basically. Doesn't happen very often, so you've got to celebrate it when it does. So, I'm unscrewing the spring bank now. It's a great spring bank flask, this. You even get four wee cups. Four wee cups for your friends, but I'm joining the mates. I'm here myself, so I don't need the wee cups. One of them. There's a whiskey, oh geez, oh. There's a whiskey going in. So here's the Christmas day at the Owls Cave at Polly Willen Farm <laughs> with all these electrical devices. I've got my phone with me as well in case I fall down the Owls Cave or over the cliff. Oh, over the cliff and the way back down, but I'll know it doesn't make any difference because there's no signal anyway, of course. My face dirty. I'm kind of filling myself with a dirty face. Okay, cheers. Merry Christmas. Right, let's hit this golf shot. I'll stop this camera, but hopefully if I've done this correctly, the laptop will still be filming away and I can uh, transmit all of this to YouTube. Right, see you on the laptop in a minute. 